All right, guys, what's going on? Blake Albertson here with B&B Lawn Care. Let me tell you guys something. I just got off a video about financing. Now it's time for a video about credit cards. Let me tell you my experience. I have never had a credit card before. Actually, it's been about a year from now. I got it last year towards the end of the year because I knew I was gonna be purchasing a house. Had to build up the credit, things like that, and uh, I've never financed anything. Uh, never had a credit card before a year from now, or a year ago, and uh, needed to build up credit, which is true to, to get a house and things like that. But uh, I got into a little bit of trouble. Uh, not, not really, but it was, it, it showed me a path that I did not want to go down. And uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I got, I got pulled in. Oh, I just hit my elbow. I got pulled in to the whole credit card thing from one of their amazing marketing schemes. Guys, look up Dave Ramsey credit card rants and things like that. He's gonna teach you all the, they're the best marketers in the world. They spend billions of dollars for advertising. Uh, this is a Southwest credit card. And uh, listen, there, there's gonna be a lot of different opinions on this. I know a lot of guys use credit cards, but I have a very like almost addictive personality. So like this, the points thing became a game to me. You spend like four grand or something on this in the first three months and you got 60,000 points, which is actually a lot. Uh, we, we purchased plane tickets with that, those points that I got after spending the money on here. So I put Natalie and I's honeymoon on this credit card, okay? So things at like 5,000, and listen, I'm, I'm opening up, man. Like I, I, don't, I normally don't talk about money and things like that, but uh, I feel it can help a lot of people. The thing is, they're giving these cards out to like young people, dude. And, and I'm young, but I'm very responsible with money. And uh, yeah, you can get these at like 16 years old. I, I don't really know. But you can get them at young. And, and like if you listen to Dave Ramsey and things like that, you hear thousands of stories about people that have Oh, they, they buy couches, they buy this, they buy that on credit cards, uh, and they're just in a mess, dude. They're like, literally there's people on there with $200,000 in credit card debt because it becomes a game. You swipe it, there's no emotional response when you swipe the credit card, and it's just like, there, there's no, when you hand over cash, the cash doesn't come back to you. This is Dave Ramsey saying this. It, it hurts, you're like, you give hundreds of cash and they give you the thing, but they don't give you anything back. With a credit card, you swipe it and they give it right back to you. There's no emotional repercussion from doing that. Um, anyways, I got on the points game. So I got those 60,000 points and then every dollar I spend is a point. So I'm like, dude, I'm just gonna put the honeymoon on here and 5,000 points, not bad. And uh, then, you know, quarterly taxes come up and all this, all this stuff, dude. We just had, it was a month of very, a, a lot of expenses. Um, you know, wedding, very expensive. Literally everything, dude. House, uh, just, it, it was an expensive month. It, it, it just happened, dude. I, oh, I was purchasing a ton of seed. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of seed. All these things I have to front because I don't use a credit card for that. Uh, all this came out of my actual business bank account and, and things like that. So I just kind of honestly, I let it that $5,000 sit, okay? Because I just, I was busy, man, working and things like that. We just had a, a very busy month. And I got on the app yesterday. I'm like, crap, I got to pay this credit card. And I, so in two days, uh, there's a 20% APR, 
attach this and uh, I didn't want that to hit so I paid it off today and I don't have scissors either but we're doing this I'm doing this for a few reasons one I'm actually I'm, I'm never using this stupid credit card again so I'm gonna rip it up but I'm also trying to make a point to you guys there it is my stupid little credit card I hate it I hate it uh, so screw the points it's it's all a system it's all it's like gambling dude they do this you think you're getting a good deal and you're not first off look at a plane ticket the, I, I think I have like 20,000 points on this credit card still and uh, it don't it doesn't even buy a flight that twenty thousand dollars doesn't even buy a flight so screw it I, I'd rather just pay three hundred dollars for a stupid airplane airplane ticket if I need it instead of getting down this hole because here's the thing here's the thing that scared me to death with this credit card in two months I will have no income coming in from my lawn and landscaping business. Okay, my, my bread and butter will not be making money. I have to budget out the winter, okay? Now I have a mortgage, I have bills. We have to go on living, man. We have to have a life still. I have to budget for that. If I would have let this $5,000 stupid little credit card sit in there, getting that interest. I could have owed way more money and $5,000 is still a lot of money, dude. Like, I, I, I literally do not know. It, it, I, I understand how people can get in those rabbit holes. Like people that are spending 30 grand on these, that's why when you listen to Dave Ramsey, they have like $100,000 in, in credit card debt that they can't, that it's been years and years and years and they can't catch up because if I would have let this sit, and, and I would have just been spending all winter and all blah, 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 just spending, spending, spending. I can see how you could never get caught up. That's why in my business, I don't finance things. Um, I should never have started a credit card, but I'm glad I did because I learned a very good lesson to cut the stupid card up, to be done with it, to pay cash for things. If you don't have the cash, don't buy it. I, I actually heard a great quote today. If you can't buy five of them, you can't afford one. If you can't buy five of the brand new iPhones, you can't get, you can't afford one of them. Don't buy one. If you can't afford five dumb things that you go purchase, if you can't afford five brand new flat screen TVs, then you can't afford one of them. Don't buy it, keep watching the one you've got until you know, you're know you in a better position. <sighs> that was me coming out to you guys in honesty, dude. Uh, I'm 22, I'm glad I learned the lessons I have because with me not financing my equipment, my trucks, all this crap, not getting into credit card debt, paying cash for things that I get, um, I'm in a very good situation because now my income is mine. It doesn't go out to things that I don't want it to go out to um, and things like that. And that's it. That's it. I think, uh, I, I hope this got into your head a little bit because I don't want, I don't want debt, dude. Uh, over the next few years, we're going to be working very hard to pay off the house because frankly, I don't like the idea of it, but uh, I, I believe houses are different in, in some ways. Uh, would I like a, a paid for house? Yes, but there's just also, especially in our market, like from what I could have paid cash for, um, they're just, it was like, you you had to make the jump because you would have never you would have lost money if you would have on those less expensive houses because they were just they were junk dude they were honestly just junk so it's different and there's a lot of benefits to owning and actually financing a house paying a mortgage and things like that there's tax benefits and uh, one I don't have to worry about a stupid credit card to build my credit I can uh, rely on this house and things like that but. 
there's look into it. We can talk about it one day. If you're younger, you just want to know. I did so much research on houses before I purchased. Um, but there's honestly no benefits to credit cards. No matter, nobody, nobody could really talk me into them, honestly, after this experience because I saw a road ahead that wasn't a road I wanted to go down because I know that things aren't always perfect. There's hiccups in life. So to combat that, I go with the Dave Ramsey rule of an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. Because when that, that time happens that, hey, we just had an incident happen, dude. We, let's get a credit card out. You have a fund there in case of emergencies. Hint, emergency fund. So this isn't a money channel. This is just all my life catching up to the moment. And I learned a lesson. And luckily, we're in a very, the thing about being a lawn and landscape guy, an entrepreneur in general is, I, I can get out of situations like this pretty quickly on a small scale. If it was 100 grand, no. But on a scale like this, you know, the harder you work, the more money you can make. That's the good thing about not having a real job is you, I, can, I can just make the money, you know, and, and get in a better position. But that's my experience. Nothing major, but 5,000 to somebody, 5,000 to me is, is a lot of money. Okay, um, yeah, dude, it, it was a road I didn't want to go down. I'm happy to pay it off, uh, but this is all a game. It's all a gimmick to get you to spend more money. Look up the statistics about spending money, spending cash at a grocery store and versus a credit card. Uh, even vending machines. You spend like, a, like look it up versus cash versus a credit card at a vending machine. Crazy statistics. It's all, dude, it's all a game, bro. It's all in your head. Don't get suckered into it because it can get you in a lot of trouble. And uh, that's it, man. That's my two cents. I'm not a pro. I'm not a gajillionaire. I'm just simply trying to help somebody out in this world. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.